Now let's talk about the document sidebar. Start getting a little bit deeper into document work here. We're going to talk about adding more documents to your project, organizing them, viewing several in parallel, adding metadata, filtering them. We're going to talk about our document replacement feature, OCR, and document text boxes. Let's dive in. First of all, we'll expand our document sidebar here as we talk about it. The first thing is, how do you add more documents to a project? One of the great things about Liquitex, and I know some of you already know this, you can have a very large number of documents in a single project. So you go to add document here and you see you have a few different options. You can import a document from another Liquitex project from uh, your file system, from a web page, images, or reference managers. So as an example, let's say we import from a web page. And again, let's say we do Wikipedia, Doug Engelbert. All right, one of the fathers of human computer interaction. He's always one of our heroes here. So we'll just import him. And you see, we add the Douglas Engelbert Wikipedia page uh, in our current folder, in this case, regulatory bodies. So this leads to our next point about organizing uh, your materials. So we'll actually just make this a little larger and make it easier here. Okay. So you can just drag documents from any one folder to another folder. So for example, if we want to move uh, Douglas Engelbert here from regulatory bodies to Blackstone product info, we simply drag it like this and it just moves very easily. Likewise, you can also drag things uh, you can drag I folders to other folders as well. So for example, we might want to move depositions inside Galaxian product info as well. So I simply drag it and put it right in there. You see now I can expand it and I have the subfolder. I can also put things in folders. Or I can move uh, particular documents into folders, not just by dragging, but also by clicking the three dots menu or right clicking. And I can select add to new folder and then it'll create a new folder for that document as well. So we give you a lot of ways to reorganize uh, your content, make it easy for you to follow uh, whatever organization is most natural. Okay, great. Now let's talk about viewing documents in parallel. Uh, I, I showed you this briefly during uh, the demo before, but let's dig into it a little more detail. If I want to compare Douglas Engelbert with, let's say, the Galaxygen product manual, I can simply drag the Galaxygen product manual out, drag it over to the side, drag it to the bottom, and now you have the two of them appear together. Now, let's suppose I wanted them arranged horizontally instead of vertically. Well, when I first dragged it out, I could have dragged it to the side, but now I can just tap the little arrow here and do switch orientation. And now switch just to vertical. And now I'll switch it back to horizontal again. On the iPad, you can display three documents side by side. On Windows or Mac, you can display five. The other thing is if you don't feel like dragging, you can also just tap the three dots button uh, or right click and just select show in parallel and it'll add the document that way as well. Okay, great. So now let's talk a little bit about metadata and tags at the document level rather than just at the, at the text level like we discussed before. So let's suppose some of these documents I've already read and others of them I still need to read. So I can click the three dots button and let's say we'll add a new tag. Go to more, I'll say already read and We'll add the tag. And you see now a little tag has been added under the title of the document already read. Now, maybe I've already read the uh, lead nurse deposition transcript as well here. So you see in my, uh, when I click the three dots menu on the bottom, we have different tags that are available. I can, in this case, simply just tag, tap already read. And you see it adds the tag right there. And we'll add one for maybe surgeon's deposition transcript as well. You see. We have them. So the nice thing about this is uh, that we can use this for filtering. So for example, uh, this actually takes us very nicely to the next uh, item, filtering documents. If I want to find everything related to depositions, I can just go to filter documents and type DEPO, and you see it finds all the documents related to depositions. But say I want to find all the things that are already read. Start Just start typing already, and you see three documents here uh, that have the already read tag just pop up so I can get to them really easily. This is great if you're, say, working in documents in different phases. This is a nice way to tag them based on the phase that they're in. All right, excellent. Also note that if you ever want to rename a document, of course, you can just tap the three dots and go to rename. Uh, you can also tap the title of the document up here. And here you can edit the title, the tags, 
as well as other metadata that you might be interested in, such as authors, publication, abstract, that may or may not be relevant depending on uh, the type of document you're working with at that moment. Okay. The other point that I'll talk about is document replacement. So say we go to our patient medical record here. Well, let's suppose I get a new version of this patient medical record that has pages added or removed. And I'd like to move all of my annotations and everything from the original to the new one. What can I do? Well, this is a feature we love in Liquid Text. You select the three dots, you go to replace document, select file, and we'll say patient medical record new. And you see what Liquid Text does. It actually figures out that in this case, there's the same number of pages, but they're simply rearranged. And you see it figures out that page eight from the original has now become page two in the new version. Uh, confirm replacement, replaces the document, and you see there it is, page two. We have the, uh, the patient's x-ray right there. So this is great, again, when you have new versions of documents that have pages of content added or removed. If the existing content on the existing pages has just been rearranged, uh, within a page, it doesn't do as well with that. But again, for new content, new pages being added or removed, it's great. So uh, if, for example, you had a document, let's say this, uh, these phase three trials that were, uh, that were a scanned document but had not yet been OCR'd, you can just tap the three dots, go to OCR text detection, and go to full document OCR. Now, the way OCR works, it's slightly different on uh, iPad versus Windows. On iPad, you can activate something called instant OCR. Uh, what that is, is even without officially going through and OCRing every page, uh, instant OCR quickly scans the page as soon as you scroll to it, just lets you do things like creating excerpts and selecting text. Um, it doesn't let you search because it only, scan, it only scans the page quickly in real time. Uh, in order to be able to search, you wanna go to full document OCR. And on Windows, uh, instant OCR is not yet possible, but you would always go to simply full document OCR, have it OCR the entire uh, text, and then you can search, uh, select, create excerpts, uh, your text-based excerpts, and so on. So one note I'll mention is uh, the languages. The, la the OCR that we use in Liquid Text is actually entirely on device and using the OCR available within the operating system itself. So on iOS, your languages are fixed depending on the version of iOS you have. On Windows, the OCR languages are, depending, are dependent on what language packs you have installed in the operating system. Uh, and the last thing I'll mention is text box. So for example, if you just want to uh, write some, uh, overlay some text on an existing document, you can type text box and say, let's say overlay this text, a little bit boring here. And we can just put the text into the document like that. Very easy. Okay, so that, is everything for document sidebar. Again, we talked about uh, adding documents, organizing them, viewing them in parallel, adding metadata, filtering, document replacement, OCR, and document text boxes. So that's it for document sidebar.